Hey guys, it's Andrew from HTC One South Modder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to S off your HTC One M8. This is going to be done using Firewater and an insecure kernel. In order to get that insecure kernel, you could use a custom ROM or you could just flash the kernel itself. In this case, we're going to be using Insert Coin, but you could use a RHD or any other kind of ROM like that in order to get it done as long as it is sense based. Um, the first, you're going to want to do a couple things before we get started though. You're going to want to make sure that you have HTC Sync uninstalled from your computer. Um, either Windows or Mac, just make sure that you have it installed at one point to get the MA drivers, but that right after that, just go ahead and uninstall it. You're also going to want to make sure that you don't have any security on your, on your lock screen and that USB debugging is disabled, um, I'm sorry, is enabled. And you're also going to want to disable fast boot. That can be found under settings um, in your battery manager. Also make sure that you're using a USB 2.0 port. Um, there has been some compatibility issues with USB 3.0. And like always, make sure to back up your data. Um, you, you, there is a chance you, you could lose some. But that's only if something goes wrong in the process. Um, you, you could also just make an Android in case you want to flash a RHD but then go back to stock. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is flash a RHD or in this case, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is flash a ROM if you want in order to get that insecure kernel. In this case, you're going to be using insert coin, which could also use a RHD or any other sense based custom ROM. So you go ahead and download that directly to your phone because you're going to be flashing it in recovery. So after you have it downloaded, go ahead and boot your phone into recovery. In order to do that, just hold down the volume down key and the power button until you see the bootloader menu and then hit recovery. Alright, once you're in your recovery, the first thing you're going to want to do is wipe your device of the old ROM. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hit wipe, hit advanced wipe, and then hit Dalvik system cache data, then swipe to wipe. Whoops. After it's finished wiping, hit the back button, hit home, then go to install, and then select the insert coin ROM that you downloaded earlier. So then you just type that. And then just swipe to confirm flash one more time. Okay, now that the ROM installer has started, let's go ahead and hit next. So start selecting any kind of um, mods that you want, especially if you're going to keep this ROM. If not, just go ahead and ignore them and just keep blowing on through. Okay, after you selected everything, go ahead and hit install insert coin. It'll install. Just give it a minute, and then um, when it finishes, hit reboot system. After the installation has completed, go ahead and click next from the aroma installer and then just press finish to reboot your device. After your device restarts, you're going to want to um, go through the setup process like you did before and then after that you can go ahead and start preparing firewater to be um, ran on your device. So in order to get that started, you're going to want to first re-enable the developer options and under the developer options re-enable USB debugging. After that, you just go ahead and um, reboot your device from ADB. So in order to do that, just open up terminal, terminal, <clears throat> or command prompt, and then in terminal, just type in ADB reboot. That will reboot your device, and then you'll be able to start um, the prep process for Firewater. All right. Once your device reboots, you'll be able to start the Firewater process. So in order to do that, you're gonna first want to download it. It's the link for it will be in the full tutorial in the description. After you download it, place it onto your desktop, and now we're going to push it using terminal and ADB. In order to do that, just type in ADB push desktop slash fire firewater, and then it's going to be going to data slash local slash temp. Hit enter. Now ADB will push that to your device. After that has finished, we're going to have to change the permissions of that file in order to run. So to do that, type in ADB shell, hit enter, at SU to get super user permission. You can also want to, at this point, uh, keep an eye on your phone because your super user app may ask you for permission in order for, um, for ADB to have super user permission. All right, after you give a super user permission, type in chmod 755 and then location of firewater, so data local temp firewater. Hit enter, and then you'll be all set. And then now you're gonna want to run firewater, so just type in data slash local temp firewater. 
hit enter and now firewater will start um, in order to get it started just type in yes hit enter and then firewater will start to do its thing once you type in yes do not touch your device because um, it will stop firewater from functioning correctly and then you'll be all set Okay, on my M8, it took uh, four bottles in order for it to get S off. Don't worry. It does take a little bit of time, but just let it do its thing, and it'll keep chugging, and then eventually it will get the, um, the device S off. After you have S off, you just go ahead and restart your phone. So in order to do that, type exit, hit enter, exit again. Now you'll be brought right back to regular terminal. So just reboot your phone by typing in ADD, reboot, and hitting enter. Once your device restarts, you'll be able to see that your device is S off, and now you have the ability to flash custom radios, firmwares, H boots, and relock and unlock your bootloader whenever you want. I hope this helped you guys out. Be sure to check out the full tutorial at HTC One Soft Modder, and like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.